Uh, I want I wanted to watch this one with you guys. It's like eight minutes long. It's by Fleekazoid. You can see you can see the name here, Fleekazoid. 150,000 subscribers. Why Starfield is doomed. That that's the name of the video. So let's watch that one. It's probably going to be more, more interesting than the other one. So let's go. World is doomed. Give your family my condolences. Wait, what? It didn't start at the start. Starfield is doomed. Give your family okay. my condolences and tell your sister to stop calling me, Pam, because it is doomed. Doomed to be the greatest game of the has ever made. Doomed to make Skyrim look like Skylanders. Doomed to make Fallout look like Wipeout. And doomed to lose a lot of money because they put it on Game Pass Day 1, but doomed... The filter is back on. To make Doom look doomed. Think about it. Welcome to Flavor Town, Sony Cucks. Out there complaining on Twitter all damn day, finding any reason to pick at this masterpiece just because Xbox has Starfield and your precious little PlayStation doesn't? What's the problem? I thought you liked watching your property get fucked. Think about it. This game is going to be the game of this century, and the hype is already there to match. You go anywhere and you hear the echoes of Starfield being rung far and wide. Even Post Malone is talking about it. How many times have you heard people say Starfield in the last Week. Exactly. Remember that congressional hearing about those oh <laughs> What the fuck is this? Spe like, the last guy had a shitty presentation, but what the fuck is this Gen Z b Like, oh, what? Field in the last week. This is so hard to fucking watch. Exactly. Remember that congressional hearing about those, oh, those little intergalactic space fellows? <laughs> yeah, right. That was all just one giant PR stunt to get people thinking about Starfield. Think about it. You walk down a shady alley. <laughs> what? Todd Howard is there. You are pissing me off. Open the fridge. Todd oh, Howard is there. 2 a.m. crack and open your computer to blast one off. You better mean a rocket. Says Howard. In Starfield. Says Howard. So now let's talk about how this game is doomed to be the greatest game ever made. First, when I initially saw the Starfield gameplay as someone that has known Todd Howard since birth, it looked like dog shit. Sorry, Pim. I call it like I see it. The gunplay was stiff. The movement was stiff. The enemies yeah, were spongy. That's true. It looked bad. Then that three is true. months ago, they did the whole Starfield Direct where they showed even more gameplay after delaying for a whole year and i was really worried until i saw that it still looks like shit and i'm very happy i will have to agree with this guy that has like i don't know how to call this like violent uh exp Violent kind of expression. I don't fucking know because he is just violent constantly, but uh, I Don't think the gunplay is still good um, or that it's any better than it was uh, Back like a, a year ago when they uh, first showcased it um, also one, more, one question for you guys. Do you think that they postponed the, the, the release of the game uh, purely because they were just trying to fix the bugs. So they don't release it in a buggy state. Those are my, my thoughts, honestly. I, I think that they pushed it back so they can fix as many bugs a, as they can. Saw that it still looks like shit. And I'm very happy to see that the combat still looks awful because that is a direct reference to Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 4, Morrowind, Oblivion, and Skyrim shitty combat, which is a lifelong supporter and owner of 12 copies of Skyrim. I just think it's a nice tip of the cap, all right? It, it just shows me that they care about the fans, the, the people. Second, I am incredibly hyped to see that the world looks at least 16 times larger than what we normally experience in Bethesda games because if there's one complaint that I've always had, it's that the bugs Bethesda the games are known for are always packed in way too closely. That's why people hated <laughs> Fallout 76. It was <laughs> now that we have bigger uh, uh, planets and bigger like maps, now it's fine because they're not going to be packed like packed so fucking closely. Too much Amazing. of a good thing. We like to pace the bugs out like a fine meal. And I can't think of any better response than spreading all the bugs across an entire galaxy. Because think of just how many playthroughs it's gonna take to find each and every bug. Think about it. So your kids right goddamn now. Get ready to buy that collector's edition. Get this that guy. fancy watch though you can track the- <laughs> This guy is fucking amazing. Exact time that Todd Howard breaks your heart. Think about it. And speaking of extending the playtime, I am ecstatic to hear that there are no cars or buggies or galactic golf carts to explore 
planets faster. Because I think that those trivialize the authentic experience of that one hour slog through a wasteland, or in this case, a planet void of any civilization or life whatsoever. Which, fantastic news, by the way, is going to be the vast majority of planets. So get those yeah. walking crocs on, pimp. This was God Howard's quote specifically. There are more than a thousand planets, and about 10% of those planets have life on them. But it... Yeah. Uh, I talked about this in the Obsidian Ants video. Doesn't stop yeah. there. Because you see all those planets over there? Well, in 0% of them, you have bitches. Think about it. But the third thing that I'm most hyped for over anything <laughs> the is the RPG watching. and overall immersive role-playing mechanics. In a post-Baldur's Gate 3 world after that game invented the bear fucking M sim, many sodomites and furries are wondering if Starfield can quite reach that special spot inside of them like that bear did. And luckily for all of them, it will surpass that! Massive Rod Howard has personally coded in countless romantical encounters, boundless skill trees, and detailed character backgrounds that shape our character and how we interact with the world all so that we can role play as the um animation wise uh this is a, a clip like the, the, this character, this character here look at him like moving left and right but his hand is fucking stationary how we encounter boundless skill trees and detailed character backgrounds that shape our character and how we interact look with at the this world. All it's crazy bad honestly so that we can role play as the greatest man to ever live, Todd Howard. Eat it, Gandhi. Oh, that's right. You don't do that. One more point for honest Todd. You can't stop this man. Think about it. But speaking of gambling, now I got to bring in one of my biggest disappointments with Starfield, which is my only disappointment, by the way, and that's the lack of a real money gotcha gambling system. How am I supposed to drop 1,000 real life dollars gambling for big budget waifus like my favorite streamer, Zach Rar, if they don't put gotcha mechanics in the game that's right i want to feel that high of dropping a hundred dollars to get loot crates full of women that's right is that too much to ask for bethesda after all we've been through together don't let this be just the way it is that's right think about it now to lighten the mood a bit i gotta say the fan service never ends with old Reed todd here check out this honestly I i'm i'm thinking that there's gonna be a lot of like um not pay to win mechanics but like pay to progress uh faster uh there's at least gonna be like a, a dozen DLCs. Pretty sure about that. Trailer right here. And again. Do you see that? Let me slow it down. <laughs> There is no ultra-wide support, as is apparent by the massive black bars, and that is a direct reference to Fallout 4. You can't sneak that past me, classic. Wait, really? Is this actually gonna be a thing because I'm an ultra-wide player? That's... That's weird. Direct reference to Fallout Blaze. 4. You can't sneak that past me. Classic Todd Howard. Classic Todd classic Howard. Man, classic. Classic. Uh, wait to see and why you come back. You probably got fucking deleted. Yeah, the comment got deleted. <laughs> the filter is still on. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is up. It is on and it's never going off. Um, I'm not going to be coming back to, 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 to like that game. We both know I will. No, no. At, at one point, I'm going to find somebody to, to buy the account, which I shouldn't say live, but yeah. Anyway. Howard. Now, in other news, let's talk about procedural generation. Red, uh, sorry, Daggerfall had it 27 years ago, and they never used it again because the world wasn't ready to have their minds blown. Now get ready because... Nah, I'm okay. I'm probably not because I don't think anything is going to change for the better. That's what I want to see. So you don't fucking hold me to my words saying that I'm never going to come back. I may come back if they change something for the better. Uh, for, for the better. If not, fuck them. Too stupid to give a shit, but I do give a shit about these graphics. Gee willikers. I usually don't ever care about graphics, but when it's a Bethesda... One more thing. One more uh, side note. I did say, uh, but because like a bunch of you are not uh, in my Discord, I did say that we're going to do a drinking game during CitizenCon. I didn't say the name of the, the thing, right? So, th the game. So, yeah, I I'm going to be... Uh, uh, I'm going to be streaming that and we're, we're going to do a drinking game. And that's it. But that's not making videos, that's streaming. 
So yeah, anyway. It's the game I do. These graphics are as beautiful as Todd Howard himself. The way the sun is sunny and the contrasting colors contrast, I'd say it puts the Sony cuck games to shame if I didn't know that they were into that. Next up, let's talk about some more Bethesda fan service. These character models all have that I'm hiding two bodies in my chest freezer. Stare about them, and by God, if that just isn't a direct reference to Fallout 3, I'd be shocked. This is fan service right here. Take notes, everybody else. Especially look at this guy. They did an incredible job animating this guy right here. I mean, it's just, it's indistinguishable from a real life human. And I know many of you are probably going right now. <laughs> this guy, like, really, like, the, the, the fact that, like, this guy is, uh, the, you can't see it, lead companion's uh, designer, and he's there, like, he, he's there to make uh uh the companions and the npcs uh look like lively and like they're actually alive and and like but he's like he, he's this guy it's everybody else especially it's fucking this amazing guy. They did an incredible job animating this guy right here i mean it's just it's indistinguishable from a real life human and i know many of you are probably going yeah those guys now, are savage Shilazoid. what about the budget cut issues into that i say don't stray from the word of dodd he doesn't like that besides you know, the know word of brother, god. all of this is a part of todd's plan don't worry the modders will come soon and of course finally <laughs> now let's talk about the Oh my god, this guy Ships, is fine. Because you know what? I, I gotta subscribe to this guy. There we go. This is obviously a space game. You can fly ships, shoot ships, but more impressively, build ships with impressive detail. Almost 16 times the detail. Kind of like the most impressive Banjo-Kazooie game. So you fellas better watch out the sky up there because I'm gonna make my cock rocket as soon as possible. Then I'm gonna dock every last one of you dudes. I Wait, hang on. Paul. Now time for some review predictions. Place your bets. I'm guessing the reviewers will quit their jobs and retire to the mountains of Antigua after they play this game because they know no game after this will ever even have a shot of getting close to the masterpiece this game undoubtedly is. Now as for some quotes I think we can expect out there come game day. I'm thinking IGN will say some corny shit like reaching for the stars. GameSpot will say something like did Starfield stick the landing? And Kotaku will say something like wait ha hang on let me get in the roll. <laughs> Too many of the stars, they're white. As for my score, I'll say it right now, 12 out of 10. Don't listen to the naysayers. Todd Howard has never been involved in a bad game. Crank that hype train full speed. This guy is a fucking savage, dude. I love this guy. Honestly. Um, yeah. Okay. And who ordered 20 copies? That's what I say. Because if you do that, you're gonna get the special Todd Howard telling you sweet little lies from the other room ASMR pre-order bonus, and you don't want to miss out on that. Here's a little taste to play us out. 16 times the detail. Sometimes it doesn't just work. Um. I'm gonna play quarterback for the Cowboys. These NPCs are not scripted. What's happening? You are pissing me off. Who's okay. laughing now? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I All right. So it's a great video. It's awfully hard to react to to a, like even a fucking like anything over it, and you gotta watch it like fucking fifty times just not like to not to not miss anything. But yeah. Um. I don't think the Starfield is doomed, like the title says. Uh, there's the link, by the way, in the chat. But uh, a lot of the things that he said here are, like, just, like, true. And that's it.